So in this second part of the tutorial, I'm going to talk about the medial compartment of the thigh. So there are six muscles in this medial compartment, and these muscles are mainly in innervated by the obturator nerve, and these muscles act mainly to adduct the femur at the thigh, uh, at, the, at the hip joint. So AD duct, adduct. So I'm not going to talk in too much detail about the origin and insertion of these muscles because it takes quite a bit of time. So I just want you to get an idea of what these muscles are and their actions. So these muscles mainly originate on the um, body of the pubis and the ischiopubic ramus of the pelvic bone. So this sort of area on the pelvis and they insert at various points on the femur and also in the case of the gracilis on the tibia. So this view here just shows the medial compartment muscles of the thigh. So I'll be flicking between the two um, models. So the first muscle we'll look at is the gracilis muscle. So this muscle runs vertically down from the medial aspect of the pelvis on the body of the pubis down to insert on the medial surface of the proximal tibia. So I've just isolated it here and you can see its path. So it runs vertically down the inside of the thigh, originating, you can see, on the body of the pubis and inserting on the medial surface of the proximal tibia. So it inserts between the insertion points of the sartorius muscle, and which inserts anteriorly, and posteriorly you have the insertion point of the semitendinosus muscle, which is a hamstring muscle in the posterior compartment. So you can see this muscle here, this muscle, this is the semitendinosus muscle and you can see the tendon inserts just behind the insertion point of the gracilis muscle and just anteriorly you've got the sartorius muscle which is that muscle of the anterior compartment that descends obliquely along the thigh. So the insertion point of the gracilis is sandwiched between these two on the medial surface of the proximal tibia. So this muscle is innervated by the obturator nerve and it acts to adduct the thigh and it also flexes the leg at the knee joint. So next we've got the pectineus muscle which is this muscle here. So this muscle um, is a sort of rectangular muscle and it's innervated by the femoral nerve. So there are two muscles which are innervated by different nerves. So you've got the pectineus which is innervated by the femoral nerve and you've got the hamstring part of the adductor mag magnus muscle which is innervated by the sciatic nerve. So the pectineus muscle is innervated by the femoral nerve and it acts to adduct the thigh at the hip joint and it also flexes at the hip joint. So you can see its origin up here and this is the pectineal line and it inserts here on the femur. So this muscle actually forms part of the medial part of the floor of the femoral triangle. So I'll do a tutorial on the femoral triangle but this muscle forms part of the floor of the femoral triangle. So just to briefly tell you, the femoral triangle is this triangle bounded superiorly by the um, inguinal ligament. You've got this medial board of the sartorius forming the lateral board of the triangle and the medial board of this muscle, the adductor longus, forming the medial board of the triangle. So it's this area here and you can see the pectineus forming the floor of this triangle, the femoral triangle. So next we've got the adductor muscles, and you've got the adductor longus, the adductor brevis, and the adductor magnus. So the one you can see here is the adductor longus. The adductor brevis and magnus sit deep to this. So the adductor longus forms, uh, forms the most medial muscle of the floor of the femoral triangle, and its medial border forms the medial border of the femoral triangle. So this is the adductor longus muscle. So you can see its origin here on the pubis and it inserts on the middle third of the 
shaft of the femur. So what this muscle does is it adapts the femur and it also can medi medially rotate. And again, it's innervated by the obturator nerve. So I'll just get rid of some of these muscles of the anterior compartment. So we can just get a clearer look at these medial muscles. So you've got the pectineus, you've got the adductor longus muscle, and under, uh, underneath the adductor longus and pectineus, you can see the adductor brevis muscle. So again, this muscle has its origin on the pubis, and it inserts a little bit higher up on the femur, so the upper third of the femur. And what this muscle does is it adducts the thigh at the hip joint, and again, it's innervated by the obturator nerve. So I'll just remove the adductor brevis, and we can see this big muscle lying underneath this. So this is the final adductor muscle. So this is the adductor magnus. So magnus means great in Latin, so it's the big adductor muscle. And it's got two um, muscle bellies. So you've got so you've got the adductor part and you've got the hamstring part, this little bit down here. So this lateral part of the muscle is the adductor part and the medial part is this hamstring part. And it's this hamstring part of the adductor magnus that's innervated by the um, sciatic nerve. So the tibial branch of the sciatic nerve. So in the medial compartment everything's innervated by the obturator nerve apart from this hamstring part of the adductor magnus and the pectineus muscle which is innervated by the femoral nerve. So just taking a quick look at the origin of this muscle, you can see it's got quite a broad origin. So it's got two origins for the hamstring part and the um, the adductor part. So the hamstring part originates on the ischial tuberosity and the adductor part originates on the ischiopubic ramus. So you can see where the this muscle inserts. The adductor, so the hamstring part inserts on something known as the adductor tubercle on the medial condyle of the femur, the distal femur. So you can see that there. And the adductor part inserts on the posterior surface of the femur. So this muscle adducts and um, medially rotates. So they're just important to know about these two different parts. And then you've got this little circular opening in the muscle. So this is known as the adductor hiatus. And it's, this allows the femoral artery and veins to pass through. So if I just bring those in, you'll be able to see how they pass through this hiatus in the ad ad adductor magnus muscle to run into the popliteal fossa. So the final muscle is the obturator externus muscle. And I'll just show you that. So if you remember um, from the tutorial on the gluteal region, you've got the obturator internus, which originates on the medial surface of the obturator membrane. So the obturator externus is this muscle, which originates on the lateral or external surface of the obturator membrane. So unlike all the other muscles of the medial compartment, this one actually laterally rotates the femur. It doesn't adduct. So if we just take a look at this muscle, you can see how... So this is the obturator foramen, and it's covered by an obturator membrane, and you've got the obturator externus sitting on top of it. So it's this fan-shaped muscle, and you can see how it extends behind the hip joint, and it inserts into this little, you can see this little depression, this oval depression in this trochanteric fossa. So this is where it inserts and it laterally rotates the femur. So you've got the obturator internus sitting on the medial side. So this is the obturator externus sitting in the medial compartment. And again it's innervated by the obturator nerve. So those are the six muscles of the um, medial compartment of the thigh. So you've got the gracilis most medially, 
you've got the pectineus, which is one that's innervated by the femoral rather, the, rather than the obturator nerve. You've got the three adductor muscles with the adductor longus most superficial, the adductor brevis behind that, and the big adductor magnus with its two heads one of which is innervated by the uh, sciatic nerve, so the hamstring part. And then you've got the obturator externus muscle, so those six muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh.